Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple fold. It's so simple, it literally takes two minutes to do. And then you can actually do a few different things with it and I'll share everything with you. I have the instructions here. But for example, the first thing that I did is I created this middle of the signature page. It looks very rich and interactive in a signature, in a journal, I should say. And this is what it looks like before it's been bound in, before anything was done with it. As simple as that. You won't even need the instructions, but if you take it one step further, you can create this free floating pocket. I actually saw this idea on Pinterest and I just adapted it a little bit. And basically you have this free floating pocket that's five pockets. So we have a pocket here, here, up the top, and then on the other side here and in here. So five pockets in total. And this is what this one looks like before it's been all filled in. You can see that I have done some sewing here. You don't need to sew. I explain everything in the video. This is such an easy thing to do, but it looks quite rich and it looks quite complicated. And I absolutely love projects like that. I will also share an extra two ideas that you can do with this one simple fold at the end of the video. All right, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so we are starting off with a 12 by 12 piece of paper and the first step is to fold across the center of the paper. Here we go. So I'm gonna open it back up. You can use double-sided paper, single sided it doesn't really matter what you use. The next thing I need to do is score three and a half inches in from both sides. The thing to remember here is that your first fold is horizontal and these two folds we're going to make now have to be vertical. So I'm going to use a scoreboard for this part, but you most certainly can just mark three and a half inches and then just fold it in. So it's up to you if you have a scoreboard, perfect. So three and a half inches is here. And then on this side, three and a half inches. So hopefully you can see this, I have a horizontal line here and then two vertical lines here and I'm just going to fold them and crease them. I just want those folds really, really crisp. Okay, so I've made the folds and I've opened everything up again. That was step number three. Step number four, we need to make two cuts. So we're cutting the, this horizontal line here up to that first fold. Here we go. And I'm stopping right there. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And here we go. Step number five, these sides that we've cut, we need to now fold them in to create these little triangles like this. Just like that. And I'm gonna do the same on all four sides. And this is what you get. This is what it looks like. So now I'm just going to use my glue stick to glue these sides down. They don't really have to be glued down, but I like to do it because then when I'm placing things in pockets, they're not going to get caught in these little triangles. And here we go. So this is all of the folding and all of the cutting that we had to do. And this is what you're left with. So now you just simply close the, uh, the little sides like this. And this is what you have. So really, really easy and simple. Uh, before I continue, I'm just going to ink all of the edges just to make everything look nicer. And then I'll show you the gluing part. Okay, so the inking is all done. And now, if you wanted to create this free floating pocket, you simply fold it backwards like this. Just fold it backwards on itself like this. And then we'll come back to that because if you wanted to bind it into your journal, you leave it obviously like this. So I'll just show you again what it looks like in a journal. So we want the two sides pockets here, but we want to create this into a pocket as well. So instead of gluing this whole top thing down, that's going to close off this pocket that I want to create here. So as you can, you may be able to see in this diagram here, I'm only applying a little bit of glue on the side over here. If your page is too long for your journal, you might need to trim it down. So I would probably leave this gluing step to last when I'm ready to bind into my journal. Here we go, just a little bit of glue there on the side. And then I just close it down like this. And I'll do the same on this side. 
and here we go i'm just gonna wait for this to grab hold and here we go so now you see this is literally ready to be bound into a journal and it looks like such a fun interactive thing to have inside a journal it looks really quite special i think so we have created a pocket here and on the other side here and then we have these tuck spots here or little pockets here so that's four pockets in total from this one simple little fold now if you wanted to make the free floating pocket i'll show you that next so like i said before you basically just turn it backwards like this and you can see straight away we have a pocket here on the other side we have tuck spots there so that's four and then this one here will be the fifth one so now you know from seeing this that you need to secure this side i like to secure the bottom as well because i want the pocket to be sealed down the bottom so nothing can kind of just slip through so you can do this by gluing everything down here so you would actually glue these openings here shut as well and then you would glue the uh, bottom side here and just to spare me some time instead of gluing all of this i put it through my sewing machine just there and there you can see on this one how i've just simply put it through my sewing machine and that's how i sealed my pocket i guess you could if you want to you can just glue this here but leave these pockets open so then they would be kind of open on both sides but I don't know, I like to seal everything shut. So I'm just gonna go and take it through my sewing machine. I'll be right back. And here we go. So this one ended up being a floating pocket. And in case you're wondering, I put this through my sewing machine. I put anything and everything through my sewing machine. I have answered all the sewing machine questions, needle sizes and all of that in my frequently asked questions. So you can have a look at that if you have any questions regarding that. And this free floating pocket has five pockets in total. Now, just going back to this middle of the signature page here, I have bound this into my journal using a three pamphlet stitch. You can look that up if you don't know how to do a three pamphlet stitch. And because I only went through it in the middle and then my other two points are not through the pocket, I found that the pocket was moving side to side a little bit. So what I did is I added a little bit of washi tape just to keep it in place on both sides and that's keeping it from you know moving side to side if i was to do this again which i probably will i might next time simply instead of having it so far apart my two binding points i might go through the actual pocket three times so once in the middle and then here but then again i find that the washi tape works perfectly fine as well so there's that too I'll just quickly show you what I actually put inside the pocket just for a little bit of inspiration. So I put a paper clip down here on both sides to put some more tags and to create another two tuck spots, both on the front and the back. And I also find that the paper clip holds everything in place. So I'll show you what happens if there's no paper clip. What might happen is these are quite loose because I've used a small, I mean, if I used a larger tag that kind of fits perfectly, it wouldn't be moving around so much. So the reason why I did the paper clips is simply to kind of hold everything in place. And when I shut the journal, things don't kind of move around when the paper clip is there. So I've just got some journaling tags in there. And I put a little bit of this gold fabric on the sides, just uh, like little tabs. And then up here, simply added some more little, little things that can, you know, be used throughout the journal. And on this side as well, this is a stamp. And this is an image that I cut out from a book. And that's it. A really quite, quite a simple idea, but it looks very, very rich once bound into a book. And when I add the paper clips, everything can still be pulled out without actually having to remove the paper clip. But I think the more little elements, the more fun. So I really like this. And you can even have some little danglies off the paper clip here. Some little, I don't know, trims or ribbon or something like that to make it even more fun. That's that one, the middle of the page. And then for this one, this is a, f a floating pocket. You can include this, you know, at the front of your journal or with your journal. And same thing again, I've uh, just embellished the pocket over here, just making it look more rich, you know. Same thing over here, I added a little bit of this gold fabric on the side. And then on the other side, I have some more little journaling spots. I didn't need to use anything here to hold it close because everything is quite secure 
just embellished, made this little flower. Here I just layered some little flowers and used the bread and glued it on. And then, you know, just popped stuff in. So you can fit quite a lot in this and I think it looks very interesting. And you can take this idea even further. You can bind it into your journal and then seal it off, you know, and have it bound into your journal looking like this. It can be middle of your signature, but you may not want to see this binding on the middle of your signature. So you can bind it in and then glue it all down. And then you have this one little piece in there. You could make a few, for example, and then stack them together, for example, to make a little booklet, like an ephemera booklet. If I had more, these are sealed, but you know what I mean. You can have four or five of, of these and make a little booklet like that, bind it together full of goodies. A nice little Christmas present. I should have made one to show you, but I'm sure it makes sense. I'm going to put those instructions side by side in a minute for you to take a screenshot, but please let me know what you think in the comments down below. This is seriously a five minute project. That's all it takes. Maybe, you know, with the embellishing and looking for things that you're going to pop into the pockets might take a bit longer, but the actual folding and cutting done in no time and you can take it so many different ways and, and really get creative with it. Okay, now I'm just going to pop these on the screen. Here are the instructions in case you need them in the future. I hope you feel inspired. I hope you have lots of ideas and I hope you made one with me as you watch this video. Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!